Hello, welcome to Kate's Egg. Today is the last day of seeding 2021. It's crazy that it's already over. Yeah. Darcy's in his drill. Dad and I are in this one and we're moving it to a field. We finished that one last night. We're gonna go fill those first. My dad's now moving the portable auger. Austin's backing the seed truck up right now. We don't have much left. We only have around 55 acres to seed. How many bushels do you think that is? It's hard to see right now. We'll run a, just a little bit in here and then we'll put the rest in Darcy, okay? That ain't hardly even gonna run out. Oh, that's probably 30. I don't know. It's really hard to tell. You have to think of an apple basket, level full, or about this big around. You'll be on YouTube. Ooh, <laughs> the hard part. See if you can get it hooked in. Yes. <laughs> Here's what we do now to get rid of the stuff in the hopper. Tip this over and it'll dribble out in the field. It, every single thing is a make sure it got done right. Yeah. When you lower this down. What I want you to do, Kate, is go in there and push the, uh, turn off the auger. Put the fan on? No, I want you to just turn off the auger and then push the second lever over down. You want me to lift these? No, I want you to float them. And I want you to look at that thing with the L on it. Yeah when you float them so you can see what happens. Okay. So when you, before you push that button, because you only got a float of about this high off that, that thing. So I'm going to shut the auger off, which is this hydraulic here, and you'll see it come off right there. And then the second button in should float these. Well, we'll need this one and this one. But this is the auger, so we won't need that again until we fill. Yesterday, I did 95 acres on tank one, 57 on tank two, and 38 on tank three. And tank two could have done a little more. Okay, what that stops is if this drill wanted to go up, this thing would, this end, to get that thing up to that stop. So that's interesting because when I was going through the coolies, I noticed the two ends went like this. Well, you know, it could have seeped down, but I'm not thinking it did. Now Darcy is filling. This is how the tandem trucks lift here, so you can dump the seed out. We're only filling with seed because we have more than enough fertilizer to get us through what we have to do. Now I'm going to walk up the ladder. Hi, Darcy. Hi. Have you enjoyed winter seeding 2021? Oh yeah, yeah, I always enjoy seeding. That's nice to see it in though, too. Yes, it is. Although I've loved learning how to drive the drill. Yeah, it's fun. It is. Time for a break. Yes. Definitely. Been very busy since harvest and seeding. So if we use all barley for two months. Oh yes, two, so that as well. Yeah, it's, it's time for a road trip. Where would you like to go? Wherever I decide to go. <laughs> I go somewhere in the morning, pick where I want to go next, I go there. Well, that's the best kind. Yeah, you don't plan it. I love the platform on top of this drill. It's, it's nice. so nice. Yeah, it is. And Having it's less scary, yeah. yeah. Put everything away too now. Yes, so there is still a bit left. What has been the highlight of winter wheat seeding this year for you? Not really nothing. It's all, it's all good. We haven't had, it's been a pretty trouble-free one, except for when I had a short, but it went pretty smooth. Yes, it went wonderfully. Ready? Yes. Have a last great day. Yeah. Or have a great last day. Yeah. That makes more sense. If you were guessing, Darcy, what do you got in there, 50? Mm, yeah, probably somewhere around there. When he raised it up, I'm looking in there, there's just an overage of corners. There's no... Yeah, that, you know, that's when he brought that in. I couldn't believe that was 140 in there. That's what I was... Yeah, you know, you gotta wonder. Yeah, but, you know, it got... Even he reminds me to do the right thing. <laughs> so, Austin, I'll have you bring my pickup down by the corner field where we got off the highway and just wait. I'm going to go with Kate and make the first round because there's poles 
dog legs. Yeah, you'll see where we go. Just follow. Now I'm going back inside and turning the auger on. My dad wants to empty it out a little bit. Now you have to kick the seat around so it's not all concentrated in one place. This hydraulic is for the fan. This is for the auger. This is to lift the drill up so it becomes portable when you move it. And then this is for putting the drill in the ground when you're seating. Would you like me to shut it off now? You don't even need to clutch this to get this to go. I didn't show you that. I'll show it to you now. Okay. We go from park. Although I don't do this ever because I'm a clutch guy. Is it bad for it? They say it isn't. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's how cool these are. That is cool. It's almost make it idiot proof. A lot. Almost. <laughs> okay, I'm going to check my up on my thing again. We're going to put the fan back in. Check fan RPM, right? Okay. Electric clutch versus the old mechanical clutch, that you, you know. But there is a feel to these gates, as strange as it seems, because it's an electric. And Kate, before you put this in park, don't let any rollback movement happen. Just stop it. Put it in park. checking to see if we have any plug boots and making sure all the hoses are connected. Some rocks in this field. This is a kosher plant and that's the type of weeds we have in this field. If you look at it, it has so many seeds, just tons of them. And they're really, really hard to kill because they are very brittle and they won't soak up anything that could kill them. So these are really hard to get out of your field. And dad said you can make them unhappy, but it's really hard to kill them. All right, we're about to start this field. We'll be done with it in like an hour. It's only 50 acres. You can't go from movement to put it in park, Kate. You can't, because the park's a lot. You grew up learning how to drive on a clutch, didn't you? Yeah. This has a clutch, it just works electrically. And they've done a lot of work on this. Most of the reason I wanted this kind of tractor is it had a power shift. Is an auto shift and power shift the same thing? Auto shifts are for trucks. The new trucks got what they call an ultra shift. That you don't even, they don't even have a clutch. Oh wow. It just works on, when you start stepping on the gas, it starts engaging the clutch. Okay, now I'm putting this thing in the ground. See how it started painting before the beeps came? Okay, and why am I outside on this, Kate? Because I want to sweep this corner and not back up the inside thing. So that's why I'm seating this like this. Now if I go out and dive, he's gonna have a, a pointy corner like this, but it's gonna be out here where he can get turned around. In here, it's hard to get turned around. Now I go here, and I just keep kind of a soft turn going. As long as them are going forward, they won't plug. But when you turn out from this, is when they back up. into a robot because later on all this stuff is going to be automated and they won't even have you in gone about the time you're mine. This will all be done from a computer in your pickup. You might drive around and watch your automated thing do something. And that's when all the people that make money off this product will, will take on farming probably because it doesn't involve humans. It doesn't involve, you know, the problem is, is this, this machinery is expensive. I mean, when you're talking, that thing new is almost a million dollars. The tractor at 430 horse is a thousand a horse, 430,000. The drill was 250 when he bought it, it's probably 350 now. So that's about 800,000. It's not a million, but it's close enough. And that was a used tractor. I think the air drill was new. <laughs> I 
make my turn because the, the plow is behind. It hasn't even started to turn. So I'm going to go back into my field. If this wasn't my field, I wouldn't do it this way. I would treat it like it was a fence line. You know what I mean? Right. Mark, which side do you want me to take? Go ahead and take the wet side, Darcy, and I will make an extra pass along the, the bottom of your cave. You know what I mean? Okay. Why? Because he has to do that pole next round. If we followed him around again, we'd no, we wouldn't even have to do that pole. It ain't that one anyway. It's the one over there. So do you, do you see why I leave the mic here, Kate? Do I know where it's at? Well, yeah, I can't hardly get it off of the mic holder. Yeah, it is so tough, my combine. I just pull it right off that. It's impossible. Well, I set it to place. The cord's not getting in my arms, and it's, it's handy. You know what I mean? Yeah. Somebody talks to me. I don't even have to look. I just reach over. Grab it. Right. On the combine, I used to drape it around my neck like the police have. You know, they got low microphones. I do that, too. You know, and then I just... If I know I gotta do talking. Yeah, I do that with the, when I'm with the green cart driver. You know, that three tenths of a mile an hour, but at a mile, it's three tenths of a mile. Yeah. So it this starts one, that up. On these kind of corners, you go deeper than you normally would away from this. And you gotta understand that the, these aren't nimble things, these are elephants, and you need to treat them as such. You can't touch anything can't do anything to them. You can't wind them up. You know, they'll, they are tough because they're plowing through this really hard dirt and they got to do it for, you know, years. So I'll go back and forth here and here and here and here. Yeah. And then you get your long pass. But then comes this into play. And all I can tell you about these coolies, if it's rough on you and the tractor, it's rough. rough on the implement. Right. And so just, you know, you don't want to get beat to death, although it's more like a fair ride, you know, when you're young. It's not a fair ride when you're old. So we're just going to back Or this for off. the equipment. Was that an old greenery? I think it was a barn. Kid. This guy used to have mules, and so in these fields, you'd find mule shoes. And, oh, really? And old parts of, like, rings that were in harnesses and you know just farm equipment and stuff from the very olden days yes from when this was homesteaded or whatever happened here. See, and they all built these little reservoirs so they had water for their livestock and i'm going to turn get my 90. now this works with this drill not the other one left right now you just got to keep turning and, and eye in your your edge so you can get your tractor over so it isn't doing, you know, bang, back and forth to get into your pass. Yes. Austin, why don't you come into that corner and kind of drive up next to the drills here, and I'll get out and go with you. You think you can handle this, Kate? Yeah, this is all I'm doing right here, right? No, then you're going to go back here and I'll start. I'll only have about one pass, so then. That's right. Do I just skip but the But look pass? where Darcy's at already. Yeah. Darcy, you'll take care of that post, right? I will. You guys get done, just kind of hang out right at the corner until I can get back and know where we're going, okay? Okay. Now I'm in the drill and my dad just left. Darcy just stopped the drill because he just did that power line and he spooled his boots so he's checking to see if he has any boots that are plugged. Now I'm going to push the clutch in, 8765, fans on, I'm going to close these so I don't accidentally touch them, RPM up, let the clutch out slowly, put guidance up, drop my plow in, make sure I'm seating getting my coverage and I'm off to the races. These are just really short passes.
with a lot of turns that I'm doing right now, and then we're completely done with this field. Darcy must have a plugged boot because he's working on one. And that's why you always check after power lines, every new field, and after you fill, because it's always bad when you have a plugged boot. I'm going to slow down a little bit, lift the plow. Wait, fan is low. I'm going to check the boot. Push that in, brake, park. I'm going to check my boots. None of my boots are plugged, so I'm good to go. I'm really cautious of that now because of what happened to me earlier. Put my steering wheel down, push the clutch in. I'm in fifth gear, RPM's up. Make sure the master's on. 62 pounds of seed and acre. Now lift out, 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 lift out. Okay, come on. Everything seems to be going good. I've just got turn after turn after turn coming up. Just sink my plow in and I'm preparing for my next turn. I guess it's good practice for the turns though. I'm going to slow down a little bit because I have a fence line up here. Make sure my fan's running at the speed it should be. And I, when I say fan, I mean my cart's fan because this is an air drill and the drill uses air to push the seed and fertilizer into the ground. Turning a little bit sharp here. That was not a perfect turn at all. It definitely needed some work. Got my drill in the ground, got my coverage. Everything's looking good. I just love seeding. No, I'm gonna have to go around for that one. Oh, maybe. I didn't quite make that turn. It was really tight and along the fence line. So I'm just going to go around here and try this one more time. Are you teardropping around Cape for that? Yes, I am. I w didn't have enough room. Well, you have enough, but you would have to do it exactly right. So that means you got to continue in before you get on your guidance. You know what I mean? I'm on guidance. Now I just have to wait for the drill to catch up. Yeah, I just didn't do it quite right, but I wanted to make sure I didn't have a skip, so I went around. Well, it's okay on super tight things along fence lines, Kate. You know, I might even run four paths, but you only got about two or three more paths here, if that. I'll just have to go around it now. I'm going through the coolie now. So I'm just watching everything. And a coolie is a draw in the field where the water runs down and the field comes in like this. I know it's not a term used in a lot of other areas or around the world, so I wanted to explain that. Ooh, I overturned that slightly. I made too large of a turn, so I'm going to now have to turn back into my auto steer line and I engaged auto steer. I am dropping the drill in now, and that ended up working out pretty good. I will be right in the middle of this power pole coming up. Darcy already seated the power pole, so I just have to drive around it and then re-engage guidance. Darcy's coming with his drill now. We're just getting closer and closer. I think that the pass coming back for Darcy will be the very last one on this field. I'm hitting all this last pass, Kate. Okay, thank you. We are officially done with 2021 seeding. Oh my goodness, and I got to run drill, which is just awesome. I can't believe it, I'm so sad, but also very happy to get some rest. Do I just go to the end of the field, kind of where we came in? Yes, and then just hang out there, Dorothy. Or I mean, Kate, I'll be down and I'll probably swap you. I put the plow back in the ground because my dad likes to seed out of the field so we don't have tracks. I am so happy and thankful that I got to be a part of winter wheat seeding for 2021.
I'm now in my dad's pickup and he just got in the drill. We're going to move it. Okay, you have to take off and give us room to get out of here. Now I'm headed to the schoolhouse. My dad just got in the drills. Go and down and hang out at the schoolhouse. Your wings are still down, Mark. Yeah, I just, I'm just driving up here before I pick them up. Coming up to the schoolhouse in the 15 bins now. This is the Diamond Valley Schoolhouse. Okay. This is actually the schoolhouse my grandmother went to when my great-grandfather was homesteading. It's a one-room schoolhouse and it had all the grades in it and now it's on our property. If you were guessing in your tank, how many acres do you got, Darcy? I'm just going to go look down. So I'm going to park right here and wait until I see the drills. Now I think I'm going to have lunch. Every day for seating, I've been packing a salad, which is fantastic. I love salad, so it's always very enjoyable to have. Darcy and Dad are just pulling back on the road. Dad and Darcy have now brought the drills back to the yard where we keep the combines and everything, and Austin's taking the seed truck over there. Now we are cleaning out the drills because we are completely finished with seeding. We have to empty the extra seed and fertilizer out of the tank of the air cart. Seed emptying right now. In order to do that, we had to drop the manifold and then that little plate. All of the leftover seed is now out of the tank. What we'll do now is go empty the seed out of our seed. But then we'll have to do fertilizer after this, you know what I mean? Here is Darcy's drills and the boot and shank and hose. This is where the air is coming out right now. And that's how it moves the seed. The seeds and fertilizer flows through the hoses because of the air that's being pushed through. That's why this is called an air drill, because of the air moving through the drill to push the seed and fertilizer in the ground. So this one doesn't have a manifold like the other one? Not a drop down one like that. We take, he's got these spring loaded cam things, you know. You have a control box for uh, each one of your rollers, Darcy. Oh yeah, yeah. When we changed the hose, we had to bleed them. Is so, that so the air lock? Yeah. We don't do this that often. <laughs> no more than we have to, Dad just said. so much for watching today's video. I cannot believe that 2021 seeding is over and it's super sad, but I'm also very excited for spring seeding at the end of March, early April. Make sure to like and subscribe to see more videos to learn about how your food gets to your table. You can also follow Kate's Egg on Instagram, K-A-T-E-S underscore A-G and on Facebook, Pinterest, and TikTok. On TikTok, make sure you're following my official account, which is K-A-T-E-S underscore A-G. Any other accounts are imposter accounts. You can also visit the Kate's Egg website, k-a-t-e-s-a-g.com and purchase a Kate's Egg tote bag, which I will show you. I have it in my dad's pickup right now. It's good for holding anything and it's made from 100% cotton and made in the USA. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.